What is up guys, welcome back to another Fleet Market Grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button, it lets me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can. And hit that sub button if you guys are not already, and you guys do enjoy these videos. So I apologize for no Fleet Market videos the past couple weeks. If you guys are from the DFW area, then you guys know that the weather's been horrible. Just constant rain, so I haven't been able to go. But we finally got some decent weather on the weekend, so I was able to go this weekend. And I did pick up a couple things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the stuff that I found. So guys, it's been about three weeks and uh, we finally got some good weather on the weekend. So let's hope we find some good stuff this weekend because um, the past couple weeks has been uh, cheeks to say the least. and then I got a pop protector piece and then these two for five bucks which I don't know if that's a good deal but somebody was protecting them how much are these? 15 Samples. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I hardly ever see samples like that. Yeah. What the heck? I don't like how he's stretchy. He feels stretchy. Uh, it's not that really he's stretchy. It's, it's just, just like the... Like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> All right, we are back, so let me go ahead and show you everything. So starting off with the video games, I got one video game, but it's a good video game, but it's in rough shape. But I did only pay three bucks for it, and that is a copy of Def Jam Fight for New York on the PS2. No manual, disc only. But like I said, the disc is super rough. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like scratches on the top. It's really rough on the bottom as well. And it has like these little, like somebody stabbed it with a nail or something right here. But for only three bucks, I mean, I figured just the case alone was worth that. So even though I'm like 95% sure the game's not gonna work for only three bucks, I went ahead and scooped it up just because this game just keeps on going up in price. So why not? Next thing I grabbed for $25, I have no idea if this thing works. I ordered the battery for it. That should be coming in the next week or so, so that way I can test it. But I figured for only $25, it was worth the risk. And that is this Canon Vixia HV30 camera. And I say that because even if it doesn't work, it does have the mic on it. And um, I should be able to sell the mic alone for like 40 bucks. And then if the camera works, I should be able to get like 150 bucks for it. For the $25 gamble, I went ahead and took it. Ended up grabbing one hat. This one I paid five bucks for. And it is the Walt Disney Studios corduroy hat. Two corduroy, and then you have the Walt Disney Studios embroidered on the front in gold. There you got the tag, made in the USA. If I had to guess, I would assume this is like 80s. Still super clean too, just needs a little bit of uh, reshaping and it'll be good to go. Next up, I got a stack of Funko Pops, which I don't usually pick up but I got these all for super cheap. For the most part, $5 a piece, except for one that I paid $7 for. So let's start with the one that I paid $7 for. Um, and the reason being is because I want this for my personal collection. And that is the Super Saiyan Kale uh, pop right here from Dragon Ball Super. That one is actually a Chalice Collectibles exclusive, which is why I scooped it up. I'm trying to take it slow on the pops now, um, especially the Dragon Ball ones because there's way too many. But if I can find the exclusive ones for cheap, I will grab them. I personally was not a big fan of Kale in the actual show though or Cauliflower to be 100% honest. Um, I just didn't like the way that they got their Super Saiyan powers like super easily. Like I guess they had to do it for time. But yeah, I just hated the fact that they were just like, feel it in your back and you're Super Saiyan. But I did really like when they fused. So I, that's why I went ahead and grabbed this one. And then these next two I got for $5 each. What's funny is I don't usually pick up a lot of pops like this uh, from flea markets and stuff, but I picked up five of them this weekend and they all came from different people. So whatever, for whatever reason, it was just a pop weekend. But the next two I got, I got two for five and that is the Eddie Guerrero GameStop exclusive pops right here. If I picked up two of them. Uh, I might keep one and then get rid of one, which is most likely what I'm gonna do. Of course, Eddie Guerrero, all time 
great. So for only five bucks a piece, I went ahead and scooped those up. And then the last two I picked up these, I also picked up two for 10, so five bucks a piece. So when I seen these, I knew they were something because they're in protective cases and um, I don't think people would just put like a normal pop in a protective case. And we got the Flintstones Wilma and Betty pop right here. And these are pop culture exclusives, I guess. Not sure, but I did look them up and uh, people were asking like 70 bucks a piece on them. There was one person selling them on eBay. Uh, they have the lot for 180. So for only five bucks a piece, uh, I knew it was a good deal on these. Now let's get into the couple of clothing items I picked up. I paid a dollar a piece for these first two I'm gonna show you. So the first one that I found, this came from the guy that has this random clothes on on the table where everything's a dollar. Dug this one out. It is the Cause Peanuts tee right here with uh, Joe Cool on the front, Snoopy. That one is a size small. Sucks it's so small, but eh, it's whatever. That's the first one. Then the second one I grabbed, this one I don't even know. Like I kind of just grabbed it because it was a dollar and I kind of like the graphic. It's this uh, Nike tee right here with this dude with the big beard, I guess. Uh, I guess he's hiking with this backpack um, and he has some Cortez on and that one is a size large. So I don't know if it's anything special, but it was only a dollar. And then for three bucks, I picked this one up from the same guy from, with those two shirts, but this one he had hanging up on a rack. So those are a little bit more. But for only three bucks, I picked up this uh, vintage Sears wool jacket. You can see right there, quality Sears. And that one is actually a size large men. I'm trying to stay away from the jackets now because it's about to be summer and um, the jackets are probably gonna sit until like October, November-ish. But for the only three bucks, I figured I'd grab this one and um, just throw it in the pile, I guess. And then the last items I picked up this weekend are sneakers. I paid 10 bucks for these. They are a youth size 13C, but I looked them up and uh, these kid sizes are going for a decent amount. And that is a pair of the Flint Jordan 13s. Like I said, size 13C. For you guys who don't know, this is my personal favorite shoe of all time. I kind of credit this shoe into getting me into sneakers, the 2005 retro of these, along with the Jordan 19s. Those two sneakers are like what really got me into like noticing shoes and actually wanting to have like my own collection one day. Plus being a Dallas Cowboys fan and a Mavericks fan, you can never go wrong with this colorway. It's still pretty clean overall. The laces are a little frayed on the end, so they probably do need some new laces, but uh, not too bad, I guess. Before we get into the last pair of sneakers, I actually forgot about this too. Um, I found this Fabricio Verdum autograph. As you can see, it's from his first fight with Alistair Overeem and Pride. And then on the back, you do have the little certificate of authenticity right there. So this one I'm actually gonna be throwing into my personal collection because um, I'm a big MMA fan. More so back in like these days. Nowadays, it's like, I, I'll watch it when I have time. But this is like when I was like really, really into it. All right, now for the last pair of sneakers. These are a size eight in men's. Paid 25 for them. And that is a pair of the Jordan uh, 11 Lowe's Barons or like the marble color. Way. I don't know what you want to call them, but I've always been a big fan of like this marble patent leather look on these So if I ever come across these in my size, I do want a pair suede upper again, just like the 13s um, This one is frayed the shoelace, but it's just one tip like the rest of them are fine Still really clean overall too as you can see by the bottoms So besides the uh, shoelace and then a little bit of creasing on the toe, these are actually not too bad So those are my flea market grabs for this weekend guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button It lets me know and it helps the channel grow drop a comment down below and subscribe again i apologize for no videos the past couple weeks it's just this weather has been horrible so hopefully now the weather will start getting a little better but i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i will see you guys next week with another one hopefully later where have you been been searching all along confessing twilight alone.